Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to configure wildcard routes. What are wildcard routes? Why are they used? Why you should always have them in your application and how to implement them hands-on examples. We are going to learn all about it in today's episode. This is part 46 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials. We are reaching the halfway mark very soon and I will be starting the live application also very soon. So make sure that you check out the previous episodes, the notes, the code, everything will be in the description box below. These are the topics that I have already covered in detail along with a lot of notes, explanation, examples, use cases. So make sure that you go through all of them if you really want to learn master angular also if you have any doubt so far in any of the topics that i've covered feel free to ask me in the comment section i will be happy to help you today is part 46 where we are learning about wildcard routes in this tutorial all right so what are wildcard routes right so wildcard routes are nothing but whenever user enters a route which is invalid right or something which does not exist or kind of a 404 right which does not exist in your application so wildcard will intercept that particular route which is not available in your application and then we can always specify that what it should do right so how do you represent them we put double asterisk right that's the wildcard route so remember that this has to be put as the last route it cannot be the first one it has to always be the last route. Remember that. So let me make some notes really quick for you. Wildcard routes, right? So any unmatched route will be intercepted by wildcard route, right? Now, this has to be the last route in your configuration. A lot of people will make this mistake that they will add it at the top in the middle anywhere but this has to be the last route remember this is extremely important how do you define it we define by saying the path to match asterisk, asterisk. so this means that it's a wildcard route okay now let's see how to use that in our application so we have these routes that we have de defined in our application now if you just want to throw in a new route and say this is uh, a wildcard route so what you can do is you can say path put double asterisk and you will say what it should show so let's create a new component and let's call it page not found that's a good practice right So let's give it a minute to generate that component okay so we'll say page not found component right so we are saying whenever there is a route which does not exist in our application that match with that with the wildcard and take it to the page not found app, uh, component right so let's try and do that application so this is our valid route so now i'm going to enter some junk value which does not exist obviously so it takes us to page not found works right which is our page not found basically 404 so here you can put some pretty messages right so you would say howdy the page you are looking for does not exist here right so 404 now see how do you 404 the page doesn't you're looking for does not exist so basically any route that you try and access if it's not configured in your application it would give you a 404 wildcard route right that's because this is a wildcard intercepted and it would tell that this has to be uh, uh, treated like a page not found now let me show you the mistakes that you would do definitely which is if you take this and put it somewhere at the top or say in the middle right so this is where the problems begin so see now I'm going to say 
this is working because but if you do search right it is still bringing you to 404 whereas there is a path for search right so th this path anything that comes below this wildcard will be treated like a wildcard that's why it is always should be the last one okay uh, there is a comma okay mm. and it's a array right I don't know why we okay so you see now search will work and anything after that will be treated like a wildcard 404 does not exist right pretty simple straightforward right uh, so yeah that's that's how uh, wildcard routes are implemented every application should have it to handle exceptions bad routes invalid URLs etc all right I hope um, you would be able to implement that in your applications if you have any doubt drop me comment about your use case I'll be happy to help you in the next episode very very important topic we are going to learn it is called lazy loading of modules right extremely critical extremely important if you are working on any real-time application this is something that you have to use so join me in the next episode I will cover lazy loading if you like my work if you like my tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode we will learn about lazy loading